Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In today's session, we will learn how we can actually create Shopify OAuth app and how we can actually configure that app and apply the OAuth flow with that, okay, to get the access and refresh token. Okay, so for that, I have already created a simple Node.js API, okay, which will be run on a port 4000 and we will start building the app and configure all the things in this session, okay. So for that, first we need to create an app on the Shopify. So for that, you just need to navigate to the partners.shopify.com and just click on apps and click on create app, then create app manually, then just name it. I'm just naming it learn with Nick. Okay, create. Then you just need to navigate to the app setup. Okay, and you need to change the app URL to the local host or either whatever your app URL have. So HTTP, we are using local host. That's why I'm setting here local host, Shopify slash redirect, okay? So that will be our redirect URL. So, and also we need to enable the storefront. So I think need to save first, okay? And then we need to enable the distribution first so we need to choose single merchant install link choose need to set the uri so we i have already created a simple store so i'm i already uh, named it learn with neck so i'm just setting that here so learn with neck my shopify.com okay so let's verify that there is a no any type of mistake just generate link generate Okay, we have a successfully generated. Now we just navigate to and enable the enable storefront API. We have a enable. Now navigate to the API. We need to create a dot env file where we need to store the client ID. And we also need to store the client secret. And we also set the scope. Scopes. Okay. And we also set the directory. Okay, so we first need to copy the client ID. Just click on client credentials and just click on this clipboard and copy the client ID. Paste it here. Navigate back. Copy the client secret. Paste it here. Need to set the scopes, whatever you want with the OAuth app. I'm just setting read products and write products. Okay, and we have a redirect URL called HTTP localhost port 4000 slash API Shopify slash redirect. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, and now we just need to create an helper for OAuth. So we say Shopify OAuth helper.js. Inside that, we first need to import the Axios, require Axios. And we need to create two helpers, one for authorize, where we need to build the URI. Inside that, we need to pass the shop name and we need to return the URL and we are going to use the testing interpolation, HTTPS. And we say it here, uh, shop, shop name, and then my shopify.com and slash admin slash OAuth. And we say it authorize. Okay, and we need to bind some parameters. One is a client ID. We need to get that client ID from process.env. Okay, env dot client ID. We have already set it that. And we also need to bind the scope. So we also get the scopes from process.env dot scope. Okay, and we need to also bind the redirect URI. So we say here redirect URI and we need to get that redirect URI. I think here is a type of mistake you can see. And we need to set process.env dot redirect URI. I think we need to verify that is a redirect URI. Here will be redirect URI and here will be also redirect URI. 
okay and also you can set two more optional parameters i'm not going to add those here but those are one is a state and another is a grant options so inside the grant options you can save the OAuth flow type either you are going with the online either you are going with the offline so if you are interested with the online OAuth flow then you need to set the per user inside that and if you are interested with the offline then just not add that parameter and you will by default on a offline OAuth flow okay I think we need to encode this so we need to call the encode encode URI and here we need to set that okay need to create a redirect helper here we say async we need to pass the code which we will get from the authorize redirect url okay and here we just need to console.log and log the code format the code export module.exports here we export authorize redirect format and inside the API, we we'll first need to import cost require, and here we see Shopify what helper need to export the authorize and redirect. At the bottom, we need to create two endpoints. One is ape dot gate, and we say here API Shopify slash authorize need to bind the handler request response okay and we need to return response dot redirect okay with authorize we need to pass request query shop okay and we need to create another redirect endpoint here we say api shopify slash redirect okay and we say async request response and need to bind the handler okay so here we need to just return response json await redirect and we request dot query dot code okay need to format the code okay we need to start the api okay we have successfully started the api i have a type of mistake here so i have a just uh soaps as a soaps so i have a place to see here there is some type of mistake i corrected it and now just navigate to authorize endpoint which will be this okay so just i think we need to navigate to browser and here we say localhost port 4000 api shopify authorize shop will be learn with me hit enter and now you can see you have an install app button click on that you will be redirected to the api and you can here see we have a code okay you can see here we have authorized a code okay so i'm just ending this session uh, for now and the next part we will use this authorization code and we will get the access and refresh token okay so if you have any query regarding this session then just please, please share your queries inside the video comment section either you can share your queries or suggestions via my shared contact details take care bye bye